friends, welcome to Solid Information channel. This channel contains few informative and interesting videos. Please check them out. Please subscribe and press the bell icon. Today I thought of discussing about the first flight. So what is this first flight? I was recently watching a movie called as Aeronauts. It is of course a British movie where uh, the two lead characters travel vertically upwards in order to measure the different quantities of the uh, weather or the atmosphere like temperature, humidity, etc, etc. So when I was seeing this, the story was based on uh, a few scientists' uh, biography who actually traveled vertically upwards using a parachute and they tried to measure the different quantities of weather. So when I was seeing this, I thought of uh, whether is this the first vehicle uh, where human being could travel uh, above the earth's crust means where uh, he was traveling in space. But uh, this is not truth because even my grandmother who was not much educated had told me a story where Pushpaka Vimana was mentioned and Pushpa Pushpaka Vimana was a flight where uh, the gods used to travel from one place to another just like that just in few seconds or something like that so um, then uh, coming uh, to our epics so coming to Ramayana Ramayana has a reference of a very intellectual person of course an aeronautical engineer uh, so his name is Mahamuni Mayan this Mayan built some aircraft which is named as Pushpaka Vimana so Pushpaka Vimana literally means it is made up of flowers or chariot made up of uh, flowers. So when a chariot will be made up of flowers, it becomes very light and hence it can travel in air. So uh, this is this is my understanding. So this Pushpaka Vimana was used by Ravana in order to travel from Sri Lanka to North India. Uh, so in, in just a matter of a uh, few minutes or something, he travels from Sri Lanka to the forests of uh, North, North India where Rama and Sita uh, used to live and he kidnaps Sita from there and he uh, brings her back to Sri Lanka. So this is the story which is uh, in Ramayana and even in a recent book uh, called as Asura, The Tale of Vanquished, it is written by Anand Neil Kantan. So even in this book you can uh, uh, read that Mayan is a uh, very intellectual person and he is the father of uh, um, Mandodri who is wife of uh, Ravana. So you can uh, even uh, read this in this uh, book called as Asura. So uh, coming to Mahabharata, Mayan is also referred in Mahabharata where Mayan built a, builds a very um, architectural ecstasy, a very beautiful one and that was uh, called as Mayan Mahal or uh, uh, Maya Mahal. Uh, so in this Maya Mahal, he had created so many uh, uh, magical things or the architecture was so beautiful. Then it means that there was a person called as Mayan and this Mayan was a very uh, intellectual person because in Ramayana he is an aeronautical engineer and in Mahabharata he is an architecture, ar architectural engineer. So uh, this is about Mayan and coming back to Vimana. So what is this Vimana? Uh, do we have any other references about Vimana? Yeah, Vimana actually means the roof towers of South Indian temples, the Gopuras actually. We have read this uh, when we read the architectural details of the South Indian temples and uh, the dynasties of South India and all that in our social studies textbook. Uh, so Vimana is uh, referred to the uh, go Gopuras or the roof towers of South India. So there is a structure uh, called as Pushpaka Vimana means this roof towers if they are uh, actually alleviated or if they are actually flying how would they look like? They will actually look like a spaceship. So, um, have you watched any alien movie? So, if you go and watch any alien movie, you can see a space vehicle which almost looks like this Pushpaka Vimana uh, which is shown in the Wikipedia also. So, this um, Pushpaka Vimana is a uh, alleviated uh, vehicle which uh, can move in space. So when we uh, see in the Vedas, Rig Veda has a reference of uh, this Vimanas and they are called, they are uh, giving us an idea that they are like mechanical birds. So mechanical birds means uh, birds which we could control and they were birds 
hence uh, they were flying so some mechanical object which could fly so this was the reference from uh, rig veda and um, as i already told uh, mahabharata and Ram ramayana has the references of uh, uh, pushpaka vimana even in jain literature they say that tritankara dharmanatha the 15th he traveled through the sky using vijaya vimana so vijaya vimana then again vimana is nothing but it's a levated uh, vehicle levated object so there are so many references like this even they say that um, uh, entirety a god used to travel to vaikuntha you know what is vaikuntha vaikuntha is heaven means it is space so uh, this is in ayyavali mythology so in ayyavali mythology they uh, say that the god uh, they are god uh, he used to travel using this ayya vaikuntha uh, that god used to uh, travel using pushpaka vimana to vaikuntam so vaikuntam is nothing but it's the heaven so uh, with all these references i somehow feel that indians are the ones or uh, our four father fathers are the ones who actually built the first flight so what do you think about this please comment uh, and also uh, like this video thank you very much for listening thank you